So, <clears throat> you guys that have been following me on Instagram know that I kind of messed up that accident the other day. Um, it was completely my fault in, in, in this video. Um, I might make this just a separate video on its own. I have so many freaking tools that I often forget about the tools that I actually own. <laughs> well, if you own enough tools, you'll, you'll get there. And what's funny is a lot of times I'll go, I'll get in the middle of the job, I'm like, oh, I need this tool, like uh, fuel line disconnect tools, AC line disconnect tools. I don't know how many sets of those multicolored plastic pieces of junk that I bought, and I've got like 50 of them now because I can't, I, have, I always forget that I have them. But case in point, I have this tool, it's called, it's a thread repair tool. I bought this thing when I was in the oil field. Uh, it came in very, very handy. It's an OTC tool. Kind of looks kind of funky. What it is, is you have all these different threaded inserts here that are loose. You take this bolt out of here like that. That little keeper comes off. Those are all different kinds of thread sizes. You can get these in metric, standard, um, uh, a whole bunch of ones. You take your one that you need off, you set it there like that, put your little retainer on here, put it in here, and these are made out of the same material that dies are made out of, and they'll actually cut threads. Um, I use this on natural gas compressor rods. A lot of times when we're sliding the rods into the packing, you have to go into the packing and then thread it into the piston. Sometimes when you uh, got a little excited, and you know guys, you guys, you know what I'm talking about. You get a little excited, you go, go a little too hard and it kind of damages some, some stuff and you, you got to fix it at that point. So I bought one of these, very, very valuable. I actually went into my car, I sat down and I was about to take off to get some thread files. I opened up my phone just to see axle nut or spindle nut thread repair. And then I saw one of these tools and I was like, I own that tool. All I had to do is find it. But there's going to be a link for this down in the doobly-doo in the description. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it real quick. All right, so all you do is you take this thread tool, you open it up to match the size of whatever you need to repair, like that. Now, this side right here, these are just soft aluminum. Uh, the threads are designed to cut into this section. I do wish there was some like replaceable jaws on here and uh, maybe in the future if I ever actually use it. I've had this thing for like 10 years. Maybe if I actually use it enough, I'll put some brass inserts in there, or copper or whatever, but I don't think that's necessary. So you put it on there like that. Make sure your threads are actually touching here. And then you just kind of clamp it down. All right, so when you do this thing, it only works in one direction. If you try to push it forward, it'll usually walk out. So you clamp this thing down. Put your threads exactly on some, on some actually good threads. You do have to have some decent threads for this thing to start on. You clamp it down, don't have to heme in it. You know, you want it pretty snug. And then you come down and you rotate it down like that. You can work it. Back and forth, back and forth until your threads are completely cleaned up. Now this is what I was talking about. Whenever you push it, you see how it just opened up like that? If you're pushing it, you can put a hand on the top and you can kind of help it come around. It's not really meant to go this direction. It's meant to pull like this, to go uh, clockwise, like you're tightening it. Now I have a keyway here. So the only pain about this, as soon as I loosen, I, I get in here, I gotta loosen it up and I gotta restart it on those threads. But it's not that big of a deal. But when you're doing this, you take your time, you don't force it. If it gets stuck, you're gonna have to try again. Sometimes you'll get in a spot and it does, you know, you're trying to go both ways and it doesn't work. Um, you know, just take your time with it. And then when you get to the really bad spot, like over here is that really bad spot, I can sit there and work it back and forth. Tighten it down a little more. Now, something else I've learned about these is once you go this way, you want to flip it over and go the other direction.
Feels like there's something a little gummy down there. Like that. Now one of the uh, catches to this thing that I don't really like that much is these threads are pretty shallow. You know, for smaller threads, they're fine. But sometimes you need them to kind of cut in there a little bit more. You can actually take, so this is a uh, 16, the thread pitch is 16. You can take the coarser one, the eight, that's a little bit thicker. You can put it on there and then we can do it again. So what this is gonna do is give us a little more pressure on the actual threads. Now this is a little more time consuming because it only does a couple of threads at a time. I'm sure you guys can hear that, but it's, uh, it's cutting it pretty well. So when I get down here, I can't tell if there's something here that it's done, like it's, you know, I could probably uh, stop being lazy, get on my back and uh, look in there, look down there, or if it's catching on these uh, little, that keyway right there. I think it's catching on that keyway right about there. So I've done those quite a bit, so I'm gonna loosen it up. I'm gonna skip over one thread. And there you have it. Um, I didn't get to show putting the nut on the axle because right after I was using this tool, I suddenly had an epiphany. It's like, wait a minute, it's left-handed thread. This is the whole problem with the axle anyway, uh, which you'll, I'll explain in another video, or if you're on my Instagram, you'll see. But this is a fantastic tool. It's about, I think it's $74 on Amazon. Cost you about 80 bucks of shipping and everything. And if you guys are heavy equipment mechanics, farmers, um, you work in the oil field, you work with anything in, in large diameters and even automotive stuff, fiddle in the front that has, you know, some buggered up threads or something where you, you've got a little careless to the hammer or whatever the case is, or just, you know, any kind of large threaded diameter, tie rod ends, anything like that, where it's going to have a die that's just bigger than you're going to have in your set. This tool is going to come in really, really handy. You are going to have to get the, uh, this comes with all of these threaded inserts they are all going to be fractional you can get a set that's metric i think it's like 15 20 bucks for the set you get them straight from you know, otc i'm not sure if there's a link just for the threads on amazon but if there is there will be a link directly under the link for this 75 bucks this will save you so much time so much money i don't know how many times people have trashed stuff or you know removed an entire axle like out of this truck or a spindle or a trash tie rod or something because the threads are boogered up and they don't have a die that big. And they're thinking, hey, well, I can't get a die. I'm not gonna be able to get a die anywhere in the area today. Might as well, you know, it's just a, a total loss. One of the way uh, places is this is really gonna save you. On 18 wheelers, you can actually have a company come out called, um, uh, the one in, in, that I've always used called Axle Surgeon. Where they can come out, they'll cut off the end of the shaft or the stub of the axle and to weld on another one. Works fantastic if the inner diameter is over three inches. Most of everything you work on on diesel, you know, small pickups and tractors is gonna be less than three inches. So on pickups like this, axle surgeon can't even come out and weld on another end. This tool will save the day. So $80, it'll save you time, it'll save you money, it'll save your customer downtime. And if any other mechanic ever sees you pull one of these out, he's gonna remember you're the guy to go to to get this job done and could get you some, some jobs in the future. I have been called when I was a natural gas compressor mechanic. I don't know how many times people have called me like, hey man, can I borrow this tool? And no, I wouldn't loan it to them, but I'd come out to location and I would actually use it. The reason I don't lo never loaned it out is because uh, I loaned it out one time and these inserts would come back you know, missing for, for, I don't know why, yeah, these would come back missing, the bolt would be missing, and I'm like, yeah, well, it's a, it's a useless tool without the insert, so. Click that Amazon link, 
get over there, get you one of these, or if you know somebody, you know, there's some heavy equipment, whatever, share this video with them and some, hey, you really need this. I could imagine that farmers would really get to use this uh, a lot also, because I know like working on Chucky stuff, like on tractors, a lot of your three-point hitches in the back have really large uh, tie rods, you know, to, to, to equalize rods or whatever. And some of the things you end up, you know, are over in an, an inch diameter threaded rod. These can repair those and save you a lot of time and money. One of those tools, when I, when I finally remembered that I had it, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been meaning to make a freaking video with this tool forever. And I know a lot of you guys haven't seen it. Now there is one other tool out there that's a little like, it's got two adjustable claws on it that are kind of loose and it's got like a little threaded deal over here and it goes on. I've used that tool in the past and I hate that thing. That thing hardly ever works. It seems to bugger up the threads and the two little claw deals, they're only a particular, you know, one particular pitch and you're, you're set to that pitch. So you go threading on a rod that's a different pitch for some reason, doesn't do you any good. This one, whatever that thread angle is, is gonna be the exact thread angle that you need to repair those threads. So, like I said before, hit the Amazon link, go over there. If you do buy this on Amazon with the link that I provide, I do get a residual off of that from Amazon. Doesn't cost you a dime. It helps me out. A lot of you guys have wrote me before. It's like, hey, I really like to help with the channel, but I don't know how. I can't do when I had Patreons. Like I can't really dedicate a lot of money per month to do that, you know, or the, you know, five or 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, what's an idea? And I tell everybody, if you click an Amazon link like this, you buy it, I get that, you know, that residual off of it for getting you over to Amazon. A lot of people don't understand that if, when you click this link, even if you don't add this to your cart and you add anything else on Amazon, I still get a residual off that. So like a big ticket item, uh, somebody bought a Quincy air compressor. There's like a $6,000 Quincy air compressor. I have never put up a review or an Amazon link for a Quincy air compressor, but I got my five to 7% of that sale. Whoever did that, I thank you a whole lot. Um, there's been some uh, really large bandsaws people have bought off Amazon. There's been a couple of uh, laptops and computers, several thousand dollars, big screen TVs and stuff. I haven't put links to that on anything on uh, YouTube. I've never made a video for it. And I made a residual off that because they decided to help, you know, help me out. Click on that link that directs you over to Amazon. Type in the search bar above Amazon for whatever you're actually looking for. Buy it and it helps out the channel. To me, it's a fantastic way to make an extra dime. It doesn't cost you anything. And that's one of my favorite promotional stuff on YouTube or way to make money. It's when it doesn't cost you guys out of pocket. That's why I put ads in my videos or I, or I monetize my videos because you sit through, you know, 20 seconds worth of ad. I end up making money off the revenue and I don't have to ask you for anything. You know, it's like Patreon or donate to my PayPal or whatever. Fantastic way to help support the channel. Also, I do have my shirts. I do have the hats. Those do cost you out of pocket, but if you want to buy some, I really appreciate it. The link's down in the description. If you do buy something, get over on Instagram and tag me in it. Say at Stephen Cox on Instagram and hashtag or hashtag, you know, get out and fix something. If you do the at Stephen Cox YouTube on Instagram, I'll see the picture. I'll throw a comment on it and a heart and say, you know, really, really appreciate you uh, supporting the channel. So uh, if you would, if you have bought anything in the past, if you don't have Instagram, it's free. Download the app. Just figure out how to, uh, it's really, really simple. Figure out how to put a picture up there and then in your description put at Stephen Cox YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. But like I said, one of the most valuable tools you'll ever get for saving your butt on a job site or in a large job, $80. If, I guarantee if you use this thing once, it's gonna pay for itself. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna leave a comment, there'll be a link down to Facebook. Go over to Facebook, leave a comment on the video over there because the comments are still disabled thanks to YouTube. And get out and uh, fix something.